Hey Scorpio, we are here today. We're gonna do like a little small financial spread for you guys. Please excuse the hands. I need to get my hands done. Um, we're gonna go through a couple of cards about your finances or your career, what's going on there. All right, so we do have our money rice available on our website now, which is in the description below. And this money rice is here if you're trying to check attract any financial gain, bring money to you, be a money magnet, um, double up your money, find the job that you want, attract the job that you want, or anything like that, or get the financial gain out of any um, legal situation. Also, with this money rise, it's great during your money chants, your financial mantras, or just your financial affirmations that you're using. You wanna keep that around you at all times. Like I said, it is available on the website. All right, you guys, so we're going to tap in and see, Scorpio, what we have for you today, what's going on with finances and career in your life at this point. Somebody spent a little bit too much money on their shoes. Who's a sneakerhead, Scorpio? Okay, somebody's running up a phone bill. Okay, apps is what I'm hearing. Ooh, somebody's spending a lot of money on the hotline. Okay, somebody is, look, somebody is, somebody is running the bill and somebody watching a lot of porn or somebody calling them fucking sex hotlines. <laughs> okay, and they are running up the tab. Somebody, kids could be doing this to them. Um, I'm also feeling like somebody could be running game on you, okay, uh, to get the money. They're giving you sex in exchange for your money, okay? Oh, what's the, what's going on with you, Scorpio? Scorpio. I'm here, but they can't get over on you. Look at that. High Priestess came out. They can't get over on you. Nope. All right. What's going on? Now, that card, though, no, it didn't have to go that far. It didn't have to go that far. All right, so we got the Six of Cups. Like I said, somebody child, somebody child running up a phone bill, somebody child, I don't know, running up a lot of money. All right, we got the High Priestess, the Six of Cups, the Seven of Wands. Hmm. All right, all right. So some of you guys are wanting to make some moves, but you're not too sure. Okay, but uh, they're telling you to listen to your gut. With this high priestess, I'm feeling like you guys might be needing some balance and or someone around you, okay, or someone that you're dealing with. There could be some unbalancing that's coming in with you guys. We do have the running card here um, with the high priestess. Yeah. Somebody running up their card and not realizing that less is more. Okay, so right now they're wanting you to not do as much or spend as much, Scorpio. It's very, very important that you don't. I don't know, they're trying, it's like they really want you to realize that the things that you need are already here or they're not monetarily um, purchased. Uh, the, the material things are things that you need. You're running from the reality. So they're wanting you to, instead of running to Amazon, instead of running to the stores, instead of running your money up they want you to save at this time and start being okay with less okay and start taking time to uh enjoy the things that you don't have to pay for so some of you guys could be going to parks some of you guys could be reading books or doing things like that doing more things with your time outside of spending okay we do have the ready to talk card with the six of cups um hmm. so some of you guys could be working with youth. You could be speaking to a, some of you guys could be having a younger audience that you're speaking to as well. Uh, you could also be telling them how to manage their finances and how, you know, less is more, okay? Um, the ready to talk with the Six of Cups, it just makes me think, I keep pulling back to there's somebody's child who is running up a bill, 
um, you're and it's just like you're trying to figure out like what are they doing they could be purchasing over uh, excessively purchasing apps and stuff on the phone or on a TV or um, like I said talking on these sex lines or something like that I don't know they're doing a lot uh, some of you guys are going back to chasing some old dreams that you had once before and trying to see how you can make that work for you career wise uh, some of you guys could be talking, something that has to do with speaking. Uh, like I said, speaking to youth, speaking to a younger crowd, or just speaking of... Uh, speaking could have been something that you wanted to do back in the day, and you kind of, you know, life takes a hold of you, and you start doing different things and lose track of mind, and now you're coming back to it, and you're starting to pick up that old dream that you had, and it could incorporate you speaking to people. I don't know if it's like uh, speaking in front of an audience, singing... Um, being a mentor, uh, a counselor, a therapist or something, or just speaking to old friends or a younger, a younger person, okay? Um, yeah. I feel like an old job could be calling you as well to inform you that there's some money that they need to give to you as well, Scorpio. Like they owe you some money. So you could be hearing from an old job don't ignore that number. They could be letting you know that you have a check on the way. All right, so we do have the SCX card here with the Seven of Wands. Somebody could be wanting to be with you just for the sex and the money, but you're wanting more. I feel like that's more of a relationship card. Okay. There's also some sexual harassment that could be going on at work that needs to be addressed. Some of you guys are having a vision with the three of wands and the high priestess. Some of you guys need to take some time to kind of meditate. You could be moving too fast, doing a lot of things with this running card as well. You're doing too much and you just need to be still and really get the full picture of something. Like I said, they, they want you to really realize that less is more. All right, so we do have the nine of pentacles here. Definitely feel like Somebody could be, <clears throat> somebody's family member could be calling them. Somebody could have been passing away and you could be uh, receiving some money from that, from the will. Also, like I said, I feel like a job, a job that you used to have, a past job is trying to find you or trying to contact you, okay? And they're trying to give you some money that they owe you. Hmm. Check your emails as well. Start answering those phone calls. Oh, All right, we got the Ten of Cups here. We got the Ten of Cups. Yeah. Somebody could not be giving all of their energy to something. <clears throat> until somebody or until somebody com commits fully. Okay. Somebody's like, you're not getting in my pockets, or I'm not giving you all of my energy to a job until they decide to commit to give me what I deserve. Give me more on this ten of cups. For Scorpio, I got all these cards that's just flipped over. What's going on? Okay, here we go. Mm. All right, put your money up. Put your money up and take time. Take time to just to just let it accumulate is what I'm hearing. Just let your money accumulate. Let it build up. Let it work for you. Okay, some of you guys need to be looking into stock investments or some kind of investments or whatever.
you could be getting into a relationship that could be financially beneficial as well. I don't know, maybe y'all could be business partners and it can work out for you guys. Where you don't have to put in as much work. All right, so what we have here is be where you are. Every situation has its gifts. To move forward, we must first honor where we are from now. Where you are is where you need to be. Once again, this situation has its gifts. We do have the Six of Cups right here. So the gift is coming to you. Like I said, there's some financial gain that's coming to you, some rewards that are coming to you. But you do have a lot of be still energy here, okay? Where you must honor where you are now. So accepting that less is more and um, not chasing after the material things as much and just being still, okay, in yourself and being grateful for what you have. All right, that is what I have for you, Scorpio, today. Hope you enjoyed it.